Hi there, I'm Peter Millard, and in today's short video I'm doing a follow-up from Friday's Festool Aldi vacuum video. It's coming up next. So when I make these videos, they tend to be made and scheduled quite a long way ahead of time, many weeks if not months. Um, the little Aldi vacuum video that I did has been done for a while. It's actually been scheduled a couple of times, but changed it for one reason or another. Uh, and it came out on Friday, just gone. Uh, that happened to be the very day that Aldi dropped the price. They actually halved the price of this from 60 to 30 pounds. Uh, my video became very popular uh, and we actually sold the Aldi out online. We, you know, they, they were sold out within a few hours, thereby proving that it's better to be lucky than good and that timing is indeed everything. Uh, the video has been very popular. A lot, of, a lot of people subscribed on the strength of it, so welcome to everybody. Lots of comments and questions, and I just wanted to address a few of them in a short video. I'm getting quite a few slightly defensive comments, I have to say, from Festool fans suggesting that I didn't give the uh, little CTL sis here enough airtime, that I was slightly biased towards uh, showing the Aldi off. I've done three videos on the Festool already, to be perfectly honest. Uh, there's not much more I can say about it, and as I think I said in the, in the summary, in the conclusion of the video, it's, it was here as the gold standard, you know, it's the one that all other vacuums of this sort of size, small, portable, job site cleanup type vacuums, it's the one that they should be sort of compared to, because it really is that good. But there were a few other comments uh, 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 and questions, I just, just, just want to go through a few of them now. So one of the most common comments was that I'd somehow missed Filtration. No, I didn't actually. Thank you, everybody who, who mentioned that. Uh, I didn't miss it. Uh, I left it out deliberately as I didn't have the information on the Aldi uh, when the video was made. When I make these videos, I always contact the manufacturers to try and confirm the actual specs. I'm British. I want to talk about British spec products. And the easiest way to do that is to get the, the PR people or the media people at each firm. Uh, they'll either send me uh, the information directly or more often they'll just point me to the the appropriate link on their websites that's got the current information on it anyway the the, the silence from aldi and shepak was absolutely deafening so i didn't have the information available so i just didn't talk about it i'm trying to just trying to be accurate here since then uh, i've i've looked this up online at the shepak direct uh, british site and it is actually three microns filtration in the Aldi. The Festool is a class L vacuum, so it filters down to one micron. So what does that mean in real life? Well, it's kind of hard to say, to be perfectly honest. If you have a search around, there are plenty of charts that show relative dust particle sizes. I'll link uh, to the one I'm using in the description below. But they tend to have a very wide range of possible sizes. In this chart, for example, asbestos is anything from 0.9 of a micron to 90 microns. Cement dust is anywhere from 3 microns to 100 microns, and sawdust 30 to 600 microns. Now I know from my personal usage with the Festool that the bag in this clogs very quickly when I'm sanding filler, for example, so it's pretty safe to say that filler particles are larger than one micron in size, uh, they may well be worth doing a sanding filler type of test, a little bit like the test I did when I was testing the orbital sanders, and maybe test the exhaust air that's coming out of the back of the vacuums as well, assuming I can do that in a rigorous enough way for the results to be meaningful. But that's probably something for a future video. Uh, I think it just goes to show how good the Festool is, that it's producing the same amount of suckage from a smaller motor, a longer, narrower hose, and filtering dust particles out that are one third of the size that the Aldi manages. That's actually pretty impressive. Now the thing that I did completely forget to test was actually the noise levels, the noise output on these vacuums. Uh, Festool claims 67 dB for the CTL SIS, but there's nothing at all on the Aldi, so I'm going to run a quick test on those now. Okay, so for the noise test, we've got my decibelometer phone app here, isolated from the bench on some little sticky sticky pad stuff. Uh, it's exactly a metre away from a couple of bench stops, where the edge of the vacuum will sit. Uh, the, the vacuum is all... 
undone, the hose is unreeled, the cables are out, and I'm going to put it so the exhaust faces the decibelometer uh, with the hose just wrapped loosely around it and the end of the hose pointing away. So the only noise that should be getting uh, is directly from the exhaust vent and we'll give that a try and see what we get. So a Festool claim 67 dB and I got 65 at one meter, so that's uh, pretty accurate. Let's see how the uh, how the Aldi does. So same again, I'm pointing the exhaust directly at the decibel meter and we'll see what reading we get with my ears. So there we are, a quick follow on the vid. Yes, 65 dB out, noise output for the Festool, 70 for the Aldi. If I'm remembering this right, uh, every 10, every increase in 10 dB is a perceived doubling in loudness. So the Aldi is effectively half as loud again as the Festool. Uh, 70 dB is the same output uh, level as a hairdryer, by the way, and obviously you'll have a hairdryer much closer to your head than you would a vacuum, so I don't think that's actually too bad. But that's it for this week. Uh, oh, actually, there's one other thing. I did, I've been playing with Instagram TV. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, 10 Minute Workshop on Instagram, uh, there's a little video about the uh, Aldi vacuum hooked up to my miter saw, and I'm just make 10 cuts in softwood uh, just to see what sort of mess that leaves behind. Uh, that's on Instagram TV. It's only a quick video, it's a couple of minutes long. Uh, just fair warning, it is a portrait video because uh, that's the Instagram TV standard. So if that offends you, then uh, better give it a miss. But that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Take care.